now tuned in to the Pod Gods Network. And make sure you head on over to podgodsnetwork.com and check out all 75 million shows we have available for your free consumption. They're all free, they're all funny, and they're all fucking Pod Gods. Go check them out. Podgodsnetwork.com, 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 podgodsnetwork.com. All right. Well, that was uh, I. I'm that. I'm just. I'm just I need to stop leading the show. I am. I'm too caught up in the song. That was Notorious B.I.G. Uh, with Big Papa. Another uh, Black History Month selection from Soundboard T. Right, and this is Salty Language, as you could guess by the smooth intro. <laughs> uh, episode straight. eighty-two. I am Brian. She is. Tate. I am Tony. That's what the rumors say. Coming to you semi-live from the Shameless Plug Studios mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and the Deep South Affiliate. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, from here it is Deep South. I mean, it's true. Yeah. Could be deep. So. Could be deeper, but whatever. Mm. Eh? It can. It could be in Florida. True. The Way s- down low in Florida. Right. Yeah. The old <laughs> southernmost point. Yeah. I I don't know. I I just I don't, I don't I don't consider Florida like I don't know. Even though it geolo- it it geographically it's in the south, but it just it doesn't have the same feel as like when you're more towards where Tate is. Right. Yeah. Hell, even Georgia feels well, more south than Florida. Most of it. Yeah. Unless well, you get into like the swamp. It depends handle. where you are in Florida too, though. Yeah. What was that? It depends where you are in Florida. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're swamp people. Yeah, like Tony was saying, the swamp people. The fucking p- the panhandle. <laughs> true, true. I'll yeah. give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> I love that goddamn Tebow. <laughs> Woo, Gators. <laughs> you weren't talking about the football team either. <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> he can't just like Gators. I didn't say like you know likes being. No, you know, I was talking about. His accent and Tebow and all that shit. Oh, stop it. You, we all know that's what you like. It's true. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Uh, You're all about that accent. Virgin. Yeah. It's like, you know, as soon as we turn the turn the uh, recording off, that's what you sound like anyway. So. <laughs> that was a goddamn good podcast, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, you should have heard us earlier. We were talking about varmints chewing through the wires. and Yeah, it was... <laughs> Yeah. Opossums. <laughs> Opossums in Arkansas. Yeah. So we were having some fun. It was good, clean fun. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. we've seen them up here, so it's not like. They're mean little fuckers. Uh-huh. They are. Yeah. I wouldn't know. I don't get that close. Oh, oh, well, they're bigger than you, so yeah. you probably shouldn't. <laughs> you could fucking saddle up and ride. <laughs> oh, my God, that would be funny. <laughs> You see a picture like Tate. Guess what I did on vacation, guys? <laughs> possum, possum rodeo. She's swinging her cowboy hat around. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Good shit. Good shit. That would be good stuff. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man. That would be fantastic. Actually. That would be, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, so how was everyone's weeks, guys? Yep. I had a good week, actually. Yeah? Yeah. So what happened? It wasn't super exciting, but it was good for me. (laughs) That's good, right? Yeah. There you go. All right. Care to elaborate or just... it was? Watch some good movies, watch some good documentaries, read a couple books. 
you know, nerd shit. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. All right, fair enough. enough. That's way more than I did, which is a big steaming pile of not much. Nope. You got drunk on Saturday. I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I was there. I may have. I was also drunk on Saturday. <laughs> this is very true. <laughs> You fell on the floor with a, with a girl. I did not. That's true. I did. <laughs> I kept Whoa. everything about me. What? what? Huh? Nothing. Wait, what? We were reenacting Dirty Dancing, <laughs> and we did it several times. And then she told me to squat lower because she was running at me, and I was catching her. You know? Yeah. That way he could lift her better. Yeah. Right. And Except... we just and then I just face planted into the dining room floor. Yes. <laughs> See. The problems were that Tony Some got random girl. No, or... no, no, it's a, fr- a friend of ours. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The problem was that Tony got a little too low. Yeah, like he was dropping, oh. dropping his ass, but yeah. it just, you know, I was dropping it like it was hot, even. Yeah, and uh, when she as jumped, you should. as I should. <laughs> yeah, when she jumped, uh, the physics didn't work out right. No, and they just fell over. <laughs> yeah, and I stood there laughing. Yeah, I was mm-hmm. fine until I felt my forehead the next day. I was like, ooh, that really hurts. Mm-hmm. What happened? Oh, that's right. I got crushed. <laughs> <laughs> I kissed the dining room floor. Yep. Eh. <laughs> it was fun, though. Yeah. And it was funny. Yeah. Don't forget that. Yeah. And I, and if it was I, worth it, then whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. It was a good time. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. I seem to Brian. remember r- ripping out a horrific uh, version of Mastodon, too. Uh, there's actually a recording of that, sir. <laughs> oh, I fucking great. recorded and posted it to the internet. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, Why yeah. Why isn't that the opening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I kind of thought about doing it. Yeah, it like, I had actually thought about going, you know, like, hey, I've got the song for this week. And I'm just like. <laughs> I would have been funny. Yeah. It's, I'm going to have to see this video. It's on my Twitter feed. So, oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, there was a probably two my days my after that pictures. that I didn't do anything on Twitter. So. Uh, yeah. Because so I was hung over and then I was just busy. At well, because I was sitting on that trunk that I tend to sit on when I'm drunk uh, at their house. And uh, you started singing. And I looked out at the kitchen at Don and I held up my iPhone and I just started giggling maniacally and then started Dude, I, I knew it was it. bad because I was just like, yeah, Mastodon. I, that, that. Yeah, well, I, and I didn't know the lyrics and the obviously. way above my vocal range. Also true. <laughs> I knew it was bad. It's pretty obvious that uh, I'm Ooh. drunk too because my camera work is pretty awful. <laughs> uh, shaky camera. Yeah, totally and I'm rich. probably giggling partway through it. That's fair. Mm-hmm. As I tend to do when I'm really drunk. Yeah, I need to so. stick with stuff that's like Johnny Cash and stuff down here. Not, yeah. You know. All right. Yeah, I don't have the vocal range. Well, I'll check that out after. after yeah, this me too. Sure. I want to see what the fuck you're talking about. I'm sure it's Don't awful. Do it. Don't yeah. do it. It's terrible. Yeah, it's not. No, well, do that's it. Why I want to see. I know it. that's the. I know. I know. I want to see it so I have some other stuff to make fun of. Yeah, we'll have to put it up on the website for the you know <laughs> that's video fine. of the week. I will. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> took forever to get the thing to did, upload. Did you put though. it on the YouTube's? Uh, no. You know what? I you, forgot. You just to. put it on the salty language count. Yeah, I forgot to actually. I was yeah. going to, and I forgot. I'm I'm all for throwing my uh, you know my ass self out on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I I was having I a have good no time. shame. Such a good guy. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so selfless. Yep. Yeah. You know. And me, of course, knowing that is why I recorded. Of course. It. Yes. Right. Yeah. Had nothing to do with me being an asshole. Yeah, see, I feel like I need to redeem myself next time we play rock band. <laughs> <laughs> good luck with that. Yeah, really. Where's she at? I just do Pearl Jam. That's easy to do. <laughs> Yeah, just make noises. Yes, yeah. <laughs> just make noises. Yeah, right. you know, it's pretty talk, spot on. Talk yeah. about Ticketmaster. Yeah. yeah, well, you have to interrupt the song. Well, yeah, during the guitar like a, solo. Yeah, it's kind of like Bono. You do like a six-hour diatribe yeah. about some corporate yeah. something. Works for guys no, there's no advertising. Mm-hmm. Something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> you can on, only see it's in an elementary school playground because, you know, fuck Ticketmaster. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> uh, okay, let's move on. <laughs> oh, come on. No. Come on. Murder <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till he starts reading news stories like that. <laughs> no, it's Eddie Vedder news. Oh no, no! <laughs> Damn it! We just stumbled into a terrible bit. <laughs> Can you guess what he was saying? Oh. 
like those radio programs where they have somebody eating something, and if you can guess what they said, you win a prize. Except I've never no, listened to that show. There's no prize. There is no prize. I'll give you a high five. Nah. But you have to come to me. Yeah. It's all the way down there. It is. With no. giant no. possums, apparently. Yeah, opossums down O-possums. there. Opossums. Opossums. <laughs> they don't skimp on the letters at the beginning of the word. That's true. Uh-huh. Yeah. At the end of the word, they cut them off, though. Sometimes. Y'all. Well, that's not we just a... call them dead. Or lunch. Hmm. Ew. <laughs> Sorry, supper. Supper. <laughs> supper, exactly. <laughs> yes. I was fixing to make that possum. <laughs> <laughs> Ma's got possum on the stove. <laughs> possum and root vegetables. Whoa, whoa. They don't say root vegetables. Too fancy? Yes. All right. Yes, very. Well, well possum and taters. Yeah, there, there you, go. you go. Possum, taters, and cokes. <laughs> possum, taters, and those long orange things. Those are carrots. All right. Long orange things. <laughs> wow. I think you're using way too many letters for a southern sentence. Yeah, you're probably right. <sighs> All right, then. Yeah. Eh. Meh. Unless they got that book learning like Tate did. Uh, the old book learning. Mm-hmm. Not, not many. <laughs> that's why you're reading them now, right? <laughs> what? So that's why you're reading them now. You're catching up. No? I'm catching up? Yeah. I said, unless you have that fancy book learning like Tate, and you said not many. So, or were you not yeah, referring to you? I meant not many people. Oh, sorry. The only book learning I'm interested in is the Bible, praise Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck. Don't forget the Nuge's autobiography. Yeah. It's too many words. Also, how to cook possum a hundred ways. That's yeah, true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God, <laughs> let's not talk about him. <laughs> well, it's fine. We'll go back to Eddie Vedder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do something wow. else. Uh, what yeah, should we do, do next? Else. Shout outs. Please. Shout outs. You want Eddie Vedder to do the shout out? Oh. No. <laughs> Are you sure? I mean, it'd be pretty cool to get a shout out from Eddie Vedder, right? <laughs> No. <laughs> it would not. <laughs> I disagree. Am I hurt people's feelings? I disagree. <laughs> All right. Shout out. Shout out. Shout to out. Jeff. Yeah. Stop, dude. <laughs> I seem to recognize his face. I thought you were going to do Can't Find a Better Man or something. Stop it. I just want to smack you in the face. Do some better man, point. Tony. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best part of the goddamn show it really it is, really is. Yeah. I, I swear it started out with just trying to make us laugh now i think the goal is just make her laugh maybe well i mean we still laugh too. No, that's true by me yeah. okay yeah <laughs> anyway so shout out to jeff um he's on twitter at uh he's at overdue underscore bills yes uh, and yeah. his handle is show me your twits. Very, so, very funny. Twitty. It yeah. is. It is. He mm-hmm. is very twitty. He is. Yep. That's a good shit right there. Yeah. Love that, dude. So what's up, Jeff? Hey, Jeff. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, shit. Do you know what's really funny? It's like when you're doing this, I think of, uh, was it season one of Portlandia, where Carrie goes on the <laughs> date with Eddie Vedder? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That was yeah. great. <clears throat> He's such a nice guy. Uh... <laughs> no? The face you're making is <laughs> fucking priceless. Well, you know. You, yeah. you gotta. Yeah. Gotta contort. It's true. It's what every good impressionist does. And the bad ones. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just be like... Right, that too. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? No. Oh, oh. do it again. You so have you, to... You got to do the... <laughs> like he's playing... <laughs> What's that? Any better peekaboo? <laughs> what? Well, no, like you turn around, you come out, you're a different person. Oh, I thought you would just do the... Oh, the... <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, enough, man. Enough of that. I'm pretty sure... Uh, Eddie, uh, where can we find your uh, music at? 
<laughs> See, Eddie's saying that you can get it on Amazon.com, but first go to the Salty Language website <laughs> and click the banner in the upper right hand corner. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to add, Eddie? Uh, Salty Language, you all live better. <laughs> ah, I see. So uh, we should also hit the donate button at the bottom if we don't want to use the Amazon. <laughs> I see. While on Amazon, you can buy Pearl Jam Records, Eddie's solo stuff, or the soundtrack for, uh, what was it, 127 hours that he did. Sure was, right? Oh, wait, did he do that? I don't fucking know. I don't know. <laughs> I wish you did more Pearl Jam. I don't fucking know. Or you can also buy the, uh, <laughs> probably buy something of Jimmy Fallon doing impersonations of Eddie Vedder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can buy tickets to Pearl Jam concerts. Doing an impersonation of Jimmy Fallon doing an impersonation of Eddie Vedder. That's true, it is. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is great. It's not, though. Hey. It's not. Hey. Well, you do an impression then. No. Exactly. Come on. What's your Tate's Eddie Vedder? At least Tony has the lips to do it. Oh, does he? That's not what I meant. <laughs> I was meaning instead of balls. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like the clams. Clams? Yeah. Like, you got the curtains to do it, you know? Oh, yeah. Get what I'm saying? I was just saying. All right. What about you, Eddie? You understand? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All fucking show. All fucking show. No, oh. please don't. Damn day. <laughs> What's going to happen? What's going to happen? So, uh, anything else before we uh, maybe take a uh, break? And then we're going to stick the interview that we did with the lovely and talented Prado God from uh, Anti-Semantic Show. I got nothing else about this week. Anything from you, Tate? No? You have Unless anything? Unless you want to talk about the State of the Union, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no? No? All right, I'm good. Why, you have a diatribe you want to go on about it? No. No, all right. Yet. <laughs> that is a real lie right there, folks. It, it is, and I'm, I'm sparing you, so <laughs> let's move I kind of want to hear it, though. Can you, like, record it and send it to me some other time <laughs> so I can fast forward through the boring parts? A kid, can you no can you do like a screen of like Biden and uh, Boehner behind you for the whole thing? That would be. I awesome. want to see you like turn in fist bump, uh, Biden. And can you do it in Eddie Vedder voice? Yes. No, I oh. can't do that. Eddie Vedder but... giving the State of the Union. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, all right. So uh, we're gonna take a break. We'll come back. You can maybe enjoy the Pareto Guide or don't. Well, it, I, I, it's gonna be a. Brief audio cut <laughs> right in the Prado cut. It's true. It's true. <laughs> it's going to be done real professional like. Yes, yeah, that's what we do. Bumper music? Fuck that shit. Very awkward, which is the way we like things. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then afterwards, we'll come back with some of them uh, new stories that you all. So enjoy like. the sounds. Eddie, take us out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. Uh, hey, we're live. We are. No. No? No. We're not live? But we're here with Prado yes. from the Anti-Semantic Show. Hi, hey. Prado. Hey, it's Prado, no? Yeah, no. <laughs> That's right, no. <laughs> You'll notice that uh, we currently don't have uh, the semi-lovely and talented Tate with us, but uh, we decided that we got a lot better looking, right? Yeah, it's true. No? Yeah, there you I go. think so. Yeah, the tits are almost the same size, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably do some push-ups, man. Chest looks like a wet blanket. These fucking boobs are getting crazy, but... Uh... <laughs> You know, I'm happy to be able to fill in for a little while. <laughs> well, that's the only requirement we have when we ask for a fill-in. That's true. They have to have boobs as big as Tate's. There you go. I think I think that's a fair requirement. I agree. <laughs> Nothing wrong yeah, with I, that. I think, I think it's a great requirement. Yeah. <laughs> Did we just insult T? I think so. All right. Yeah, whatever. His are way bigger. <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> oh, we love T. <laughs> we do because he's got soft, supple breasts. It's true. <laughs> So, Are you nice to him personally? I, I think I sold him on Twitter. Oh yeah, yeah, he's a great, he's a good dude. Yeah, the the Ebony Rhino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we started following him on Twitter. I was like, oh, some nice titties. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's why we've been friends with him for a while. It's true. It's yeah. true. You know, sometimes you gotta just nuzzle up. Hey, in the dark, tits are tits. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that, is that a slightly veiled black joke? I don't understand. Maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. I don't veil my black jokes. That's right. 
not on this program. That's right. Especially during Black History Month. That's right. Yeah. So uh, what's going on with uh, you lately? Oh, man. I was just talking to somebody before. They were asking me, when, when is White History Month? I, I had no answer for them. I think it's a valid point, you know? He was trying to be funny, but it's actually a valid point. What do you guys think about that? It's all the rest of the 11. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, th- I think there's one that's like Hispanic History Month or something. Oh. Yeah, that's a Latino one. Yeah. I, I did not know that. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Latino Only one. Only people that ever honor are like, you know, like, salsa singers and shit, because that's all, all they've ever contributed, you know? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't Man. know. I don't know. Don't let Tate hear that. She's half Mexican, man. See, she might she might come to New York and cut you. No, it's true. Yeah, <laughs> my girlfriend's girl Dominican. I, 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 I'm allowed to say those kind of things. Oh, me. oh, then you're good. <laughs> <laughs> For now. Oh, we got ten. I guess we got ten. It looks like the Pacific Islanders might have a month, a month. You know. Yeah. Who else is there? Native Americans? I don't think they have shit. No. No. <laughs> they have casinos. That's all they need. Mm-hmm. Well, they found that new niche with, you know, on TV where they loan people money at like 50% interest also. That's true. If the that's war a, drums in the background. That's a great racket. That is a great racket. Because Americans are really stupid and like free, or not free money, but easy money. Yeah. I haven't seen that. Is that a commercial they're running out there? It's like Big Sky Financial, I think. Yeah. And they, Yeah. It's like, can you not get a loan through a bank? You know, we can get you money, no problem. Then you read the fine print, and it's like 40-some percent interest. Like, basically, you borrow like five grand from them or something, and by the time you're done, you owe, I don't know, like $70,000. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> is, it like, is the commercial like really racist? Like, if you wear like a suit or if you like wear like traditional garb with like a feather in the <laughs> Um, I think he's got the traditional like braids. But he's in a suit, but there is war drums in the background. There is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's great. It's yeah. pretty wild. Nick Kroll yeah. show actually this past week did a really good spoof of it. Oh, really? Yeah, but I think they used like Japanese people instead. And then the very last part of it was it showed like an infomercial there where it's like, you know, here's how to get rich: follow my system and get stupid Americans to agree to fifty percent exactly. interest. Exactly. That's exactly. Yeah. Right. I was like, yeah, hey, there's something to that we need to start that like salty financial or something no i I can't imagine through big sky there's no you know passing it a peace pipe or any of that stuff either oh calm down Uh calm down we don't we don't endorse drug use on this show oh okay afterwards though no (laughs) (laughs) what do you guys actually think of the Kroll show i always saw the pilot which you never really expected much from pilot but i thought it was it was bad yeah i i've watched it was it three or four weeks of it now and I'm still undecided. Like, some of the sketches are really funny. Some of the sketches just feel like, I don't know, it just reminds me of, like, the worst of Saturday Night Live sometimes. I have not watched it at all. So no, that's fair. I have no opinions. That's fair. I mean, he's great on the league as Ruxin, and I don't think anyone will really deny that. But I, I recently, you know, I saw some of his stand-up, and it was okay. I saw him with the Benson Interruption. I don't know if you guys have watched that show. Um, uh, I always equate him to Ruxin, you know? I don't even... <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's Ruxin. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I like the first time I think I ever saw him was on uh, Reno nine one one when he was uh, El Chupacabra. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Reno nine one one reference. Yep. So that. Reno nine. What was that? Reno nine eleven reference. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah, I'm, although I'm a big fan of that Jeff Ross show, The Burn. Yep, that show's terrific. Jeff Ross is a funny comedian, man. He yes. certainly is. I don't know about his creepy hairdo, but yeah, he's definitely a funny comedian. Uh, he has the worst two throw in the business. It's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's as funny as he is ugly. You know? yeah, that's true. That's, yeah, that <laughs> good true. point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's all right. I'd, I'd love to be a ta- as talented as I am, ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Real off the dream, right? Yeah, I might start punching myself just to make myself uglier. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit it, Brian. I'm here to help you. <laughs> uh, fair enough. I'll just start doing some meth too. Perfect. Yeah, Pop that stuff uglies you up quick. Yeah, I'll keep you up all day though. <laughs> What's the problem? Up all night and all day. I'll, get, I'll get more done. <laughs> that's, that's true. All right. Good point, sir. Ooh, thought I was about to have a mess here. I don't so, know if we can get math in in New York. I think I will like so that would take a thing like 
the southwest and like Arizona and like states like that. Do they have nests where you guys are in Michigan? I'm sure they do. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. I mean, we are pretty close to Detroit. Yeah. And, they, we, and I'm sure they can make anything there. And there's there's a little uh, you know cabin my my parents own that we go to occasionally. And as you drive into the little township, it does say a meth watch community. So yeah, that's yeah. true. I forgot about that. Yeah. I don't think it's as yeah, you know. I mean, Was that? I think I was going to try at least one. <laughs> <laughs> people told so pet about it, and we never really gave it a chance. You know. Yeah. I guess you got to take a vacation to the Midwest, the old flyover states. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, you sure don't want to drive through them. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you get lost. Yeah, you know, a little Kansas City vacation or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, I'm actually going there. My cousin's getting married this summer, and it's going to be in Kansas City. Well, there you go. Get, get some get some ribs and get some meth. Yeah. yeah. So, someone actually recently told me that uh, it's a Kansas City in Missouri and in Kansas. Yeah. Is that true? Yes. Is it, like, the same city that's just really big and it, like, goes, like, from state to state? Is that how it works? I don't think so, but I don't it's, don't quote me on that. Yeah, I don't know. Like, if you get there and that is the case, don't, you know, don't shake your fist towards the sky and curse my name. <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> <laughs> Save that yeah, for something you, else. Yeah, I mean, that's just so dumb. Because they're right next to each other, too, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> they couldn't decide. Really it's got to be Missouri that gets it up, obviously. It's like, fucking it. Kansas is in our name, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I agree. Maybe while you're there, you can uh, petition for the change, no? I think I will, no? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just, you just... People be like, so what are you in town for? But like, I'm, I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I got some plans for them there. Probably do some golfing, probably... I heard that I have, like, the best barbecue in the world, like, chicken and ribs and all that type of shit. I'm going to go to town on some of that. Yeah, that seems like a smart idea. And, uh, well, you you can't... Get the what was that? What's that? Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, they got the Negro League Hall of Fame. Maybe I'll check that out. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll look at jazz. Maybe I'll catch a royal team. Hmm. Make the most of it, no? Yeah, there right? There you go. Find some Kansas City meth and a Kansas City hooker. Make a night. There you go. That's what I got to do. Yeah. That might be with meth. What do you do with meth? you actually smoke it? Is it or is it something you inject? I don't know. Or Tony, what do you do with it? <laughs> Sling it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a smokable or a crushable, snortable deal. Yeah. I haven't watched enough Breaking Bad. I don't know. <laughs> Good call. Eh? Yeah. I like drugs that are like that because, you know, it gives you variety. Sometimes you're not in the mood to smoke it. Sometimes you want to sniff something. You know? <laughs> not every time you smoke that. You know, I can't like, sniff a line of weed. Sure. You smoke it. I'm yeah. Smoking my drugs when I, I you do weed, you know. Yeah. Well, plus you know it's convenient because depending on where you are, you may not you know have the ability to uh, you know roll it or whatever you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's true. Yeah, you there can just you snort something you know whatever on your key and you're ready to go. <laughs> Little key bump, no big deal. Exactly, you'd be fine. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I'm on my Twitter feed. I'm going to be seeing some pictures soon. Of uh, you, you doing key bumps and meth. <laughs> with a kansas city corn fed stripper on each arm nice and some ribs <laughs> of course gotta have not on the stripper though no 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 no, no. Mm. gotta have a little meat on them she'll be eating the ribs yeah yeah it's pretty hot is that yeah let's go to kansas city all right <laughs> <laughs> so anything fun and exciting happening on your show any guests or whatever yeah i did I've been trying to work on getting a bunch of people. Like, luckily, you know, uh, being a, in New York City, we have a lot of access to a lot of comedians, and we make friends with them. We do our yearly comedy show, and we have some people come out and, you know, make friends that way. But recently, I've been, like, actually talking to agents and stuff, and, that's, it's, you know, they have some really high-quality guests, but, you know, they give you their runaround. It, it's kind of tough to book through an agent. So, you know, I, I do have some people that I'm working on, but it's, it's kind of a slow process. Yeah, right. So, you know, I, I don't want to say any names because you know there's a good chance that we might not get them. But uh, you know, even just going on Twitter too, like, I get a couple of guests that way. Just uh, you know, talking to celebrities. Most most of the time you get ignored, but uh, yeah, that doesn't hurt to throw know. a couple hooks in the water, right? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. yeah why not? 
Have you even tried doing that? I mean, it feels, it feels embarrassing because you know, like, a lot of people follow the celebrities and, like, everyone sees you, like, begging to, like, come on <laughs> Right, right. No, nah, we really haven't tried to get too many. No. No. Other than the Pope. I no, <laughs> I kid. Rogan beat us um, to that one, so. Rogan got the Pope? Oh, no, Rogan, like, dude, as soon as, like, that news broke that the Pope was resigning, Rogan, like, I'm not even kidding, it was within five minutes, Rogan was like, I'd like to be the first to invite the Pope onto my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Which I will say, I would pay money to listen to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what do you guys think about that whole thing? That was kind of crazy. I thought... Yeah. That something that could was definitely a cover up of some kind, but now I'm being left to believe that it's not. He just decided to step down for the hell of it. He might. Maybe he's got something definitely wrong with him. You know. Yeah. I'm kind of wondering that too. Like maybe there's a condition that, like right now, it's no big deal or something. You yeah. Know, I don't know what, Which, but you know, you think if you're the pope, you won't have to worry about it. Ah, God will fix it. Eh, it's eh. true. It's true. <laughs> not so much. Yeah. Yeah. Why step down from a position of power like that? It, you know what I mean? Like people fucking, it's a lot of people who want to be the Pope. So <laughs> yeah. I know, right? Like, it's not very often you have a position where people kiss your ring. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I mean, yeah. and I don't mean that. So you're Pope or Pimp. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, or Mob Boss, yeah. you know? Right yeah. around the Pope Mobile, that's pretty badass. <laughs> yeah, right? It's true. <laughs> Get to wear a big hat. Uh, it's, it's probably kills your neck, though. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, and like I don't think any pope has stepped down for something like six hundred years. Yeah. So it's like that's pretty fucking rare. There's been a lot of popes, you know, and none of them stepped down. You know, you just he's eighty five, you know, of course you you know, the die is pope. Don't tell me that you're old and tired, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Well that the last pope, you know, I mean, died and he was old and stuff. He and he I mean, man, anybody who saw him in his like last days of you know, actually doing the job or whatever, I mean, man, he was barely able to like raise an arm yeah i was like geez because for a long time i was kind of like you'd think he'd step down because he can barely do what he's supposed to do i did read that this pope um was told by his doctors that he should not do any sort of international flights though and that is kind of the job but i was like yeah just pull a santa claus you know <laughs> have other people dress like the pope right <laughs> no That's great. yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, people ringing like bells and stuff outside of Kmart's, and you know. <laughs> oh my God, God damn it! The popes are here already. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that's not the real pope. He's at the North. <laughs> wait, wait, wrong thing. He's at the Vatican. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just don't sit on his lap. There's uh, the obligatory. Oh my God, though. Got to. Yeah. Yeah, but he, could, he doesn't have to travel. Oh, <laughs> you're right. You're right. But, well, he's so I'm old. He might... I mean, you know, I didn't actually go to Michigan, but, you know, I'm getting shit done. Right. As old as he is, he oh. might not even know what a Skype is. Well, dude, he's on the Twitters. That's not him. You don't think you that's him? You can't tell me that's him I wish on it. his iPhone. <laughs> no, 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 no. iPad. If we're, uh, it's yeah. at least an iPad. That That is his iPhone. <laughs> you can't tell me the Pope's DMing bitches on the side. <laughs> He's all over kick, no? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, God. I don't know. But I'm sure whatever he's stepping down for, it's got to be some horrible reason. It's something. Yeah. It's like you said, a cover up Prado, or he's going to be sick. That's my well, thought. Well, that's like we said, though. It's like the last Pope was like just declined, 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 and died as Pope, yeah. though. That's the weirdest part to me. You know, like Prado said, you know, no one stepped down for like 600 years. Yeah. And it's not like, you know, popes are appointed at like 18. Right. You know, most of them are like Old. 60 or something yeah. by the time. Because, yeah. you know, you got to go through the ranks. Gotta go got to play the game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Was he Triple H now? <laughs> yes. It's like, a, it's like an RPG. He's just leveling up. <laughs> My girlfriend came up with a theory, and she shared it with me. It's actually pretty interesting. If you like Google a picture of this Pope when he was younger, he he looks exactly like James Franco. So she's been saying like he had James Franco out of you know wedlock when he wasn't supposed to. Uh, <laughs> you Google it, and you fuck it, he looks exactly like James Franco. Boy, that'd be scandalous, wouldn't it? TMZ's all mm. over that one. No, what if James Franco gets appointed the new Pope? It could happen. Hmm. You never know. Franco's a weird cat like that. You he know. might he might be in line that for it. That might be time travel. Might be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can happen. 
That's true. <laughs> He just come, he's like I'm James Franco from the future. Pope. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, he wouldn't lie. He's the Pope. He is the Pope. <laughs> wow, be a great movie series. Pope time traveler. Nah, probably wouldn't. Be well, great we gotta at be all. careful with the time but... travel stuff. I mean, we're talking to you know. Prado and you know there's the whole Zion danger. Oh, thing. that's true. <laughs> we don't we don't want to step on any toes that's here. That's true. Which I, I absolutely love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Pope will be able to flex the capacitor. <laughs> nice. All right, so I'd like to officially like pitch that if you know when you guys get the Zan Danger franchise going. One of them, like the buddy cop idea, has to be done with him and the Pope. I <laughs> say danger and time travel, Pope. Yes, <laughs> a fine idea. Together at last, of course. <laughs> yeah, man, that's, that's, taking, that's another thing that's taking a while to get off the ground. You know, I know. Maybe because we haven't done any work. So <laughs> the wall, but. You know, it's funny. I found that, that that's the case a lot of times. Like, you'll be like, yeah. why am why am I not this or why haven't I this? And it's like, oh, yeah, because I uh, haven't done it. Oh, yeah, I've been playing Xbox. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that'll well, do it. Just keep asking people to write something for us. And, uh, you know, it hasn't panned out yet, but we'll see. You know what you guys should do is you need to do it like, have you ever seen Four Rooms? No, I don't think I have. Oh, okay. It's a movie where there's like four stories in it, but that's what you guys should do. It's, it's, I was thinking, I'm thinking of the wrong movie though. But no, you, you, you got the right one. It, no, 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 because it's different characters. I was thinking like oh. four different, like each person gives their take on Zan Danger, and it's like the Chronicles of Zan Danger. Oh, okay. That way, each, you know, like the movie so, would be like. So it'd be kind of like Batman Black and White. Yes. Yeah. You know, it'd be like an hour and a half or whatever, but there'd be like 20 minute story arcs right of different people's yes. take on Zan danger yes uh-huh. that way maybe it'd be easier to get writing yeah that, that kind of reminds me of uh did you guys ever see the movie vantage point vantage point oh uh, no no that's uh, Whitaker and uh the shitty Quay's brother was not the tall funny one <laughs> and uh it's like there's an assassination and you see it through like eight oh right okay five. So it's basically the same thing you're talking about. But it's a pretty cool concept, though. I kind of yeah. like that. There you go. Like, do it like it's telephone. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. I like it. Just put us in the credits somewhere. We'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Executive producer's fine. <laughs> Naturally. Yeah, yeah. And a credit that says executive producers furnished by Salty Language. <laughs> That's fair, no? We're just going to put a picture of the blue van. And everyone knows <laughs> you can put catering provided by. <laughs> we'll bring some lunch meat or something, no? Yeah. Like, here's some bologna and bread. A meat and cheese tray. <laughs> uh, we were talking on Twitter not so long ago that you guys were considering making a trip to New York. Maybe uh, we could write it. What a terrible idea that yeah, would be. Exactly. <laughs> but hilarious. <laughs> yes. A big morals. You know, like when you're watching like, the credits in the movie and it'll be like, smelly guy ain't cat or something. Like, oh, okay, you know? can I be Nick Fury during the end credits? <laughs> <laughs> I said, can I be Nick Fury in the end credits, like in um, Iron Man? If you have an eye patch, then you have to get it. Oh, I'll have an eye patch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry. Oh, wait. Better yet, I'll have a monocle. Oh, you could be the Monopoly man. No, I'm still going to oh. do Nick Fury, but I'm going to put a monocle on instead. Oh, fancy Nick Fury. Yes. <laughs> Over the eye patch. <laughs> you could be the, the, the Monopoly guy in a different part of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what you could do? Uh, you could see that in a different world, and the guy Dwayne Wade has like a... Uh, the glasses that he would flip up, there'd be sunglasses. Yes. Flip them up or them down. You can get one of those for a monocle. <laughs> <laughs> well, just in case you get sunny out. Yeah, well, of course. <laughs> yeah. Almost look like a steampunk thing. <laughs> yeah, it would, actually. It's a good look. I like the uh, yeah, I like the concept of the flip up monocle. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Extra oh, fancy. Whoever invented the monocle was a complete fucking idiot. That's like the worst invention. <laughs> so, 
Mexico. Like, it's on a chain. You have to, like... <laughs> I'll rest it on my two cheeks fast and like, hold it there. Yeah. yeah, you have to squint really hard. Yeah. <laughs> I, I honestly think like that and the powdered wig might be two of the most pompous things ever invented. Mm. What about the opera oh. glasses with the little handle? Mm, those have use, though. Yeah. I mean, the monocle is, you know, it's more pretentious, I'm guessing. Because, well, squinting like that, I guess, can help you see, but, you know. Yeah, probably not very much. Well, no, I mean, your eye focus. You oh, know, yeah. It's, yeah, but... Still, but, after a while, it's got to just... one eye? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, like with me, you know, I put on my left eye, which is the shit eye, and then... <laughs> nah, probably not. Although I do want powdered wigs to come back. I kind of want to go that way. Be a good look. I think we should be the first podcast to wear powdered wigs. I'm down. <laughs> I got no hair up there anyway. Yeah, right? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Sweet. I guess he's totally rocking the powdered wig. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'll put the little bow ties and stuff in the back. Oh, of course. Get, get my buckle shoes. <laughs> Wear your tuxedo t-shirt. <laughs> well, yeah, it's fancy. <laughs> Gotta be fancy, of course. <laughs> Naturally. <Fair. laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I know, uh, unleashing us in uh, New York could be all sorts of trouble. Like, Tony made a comment while we're there that, you know, we, we should visit visit with you and stuff and uh i was like yeah and he's like i don't mind going in the rape basement and i was like whoa slow down <laughs> <laughs> come on it's a rape basement and maybe we can get him a yeah. sign made yeah. <laughs> naturally wow the girlfriend's anxious to go to the rape basement <laughs> that's got to be a first a woman anxious to go into it <laughs> whoa whoa there's no send in the gimp Wow. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Nice. I don't have any Pulp Fiction music I can cue up real quick. Well, we're used to that smell, though. So. Yeah. And we're actually both kind of uh, immune to it. Just figured I'd let you know. It's like yeah, when you well, cook yeah. or something for a while. You just get, yeah. yeah. And if you're going to roofie us, make sure they're really strong because, again, we're used to it. <laughs> you guys get roofied a lot? No, we just, you know, it's a just-in-case kind of a thing. You never know when you grab the wrong drink. Yeah. <laughs> Are you intentionally building a tolerance to roofies for a reason? Well, you, you've seen Princess Bride, right? Oh, of course. Yeah, well, it's kind of like that scene, you know, with the poison. Against the iocane powder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Up yeah. <laughs> Listen, all it's got to do is happen once. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh. That would be cool, man. You got to see, see the big city, you know? Even if you have a chance to make it to Staten Island, I can meet you in Manhattan, you know? Ooh, nice. I just can't wait to twirl around and throw my hat in the air. <laughs> you got to, I suppose. <laughs> what? <laughs> no? <laughs> Isn't that what you're supposed to do when you get to New York? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I thought you did that, and then you sang the uh, uh, Sinatra New York, New York song, and then... Then what? Yeah, I've heard of that, but I've never heard of the, you know, what is it, the beginning of Laverne and Shirley? Mary Tyler Moore. <laughs> oh, that's right. I'm going... <laughs> wow. I, I'm always on Tony about his topical references, and saying. I'm pulling, like, a, what is that, a 60s yeah, reference? Yeah, so usually I pull in the old references. <laughs> Damn, son. Yeah, well, TV land, what are you going to do? Yeah, TV land, I Not really, you. I just, I mean, that's kind of an iconic thing. Prado's just acting like he doesn't know. He does it every time he goes into Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would. <laughs> right, right. Before you get back onto your uh, into your buggy, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Have your driver take you wherever you need to go. Of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I assume the opera. Well, of course. Yeah. Where else would he be going? Powdered wig and buggy. It's got to be the opera. Yeah. Well, he's a fancy man. That's true. Extremely fancy. Yeah. Well, he could be going to uh, fool people into thinking he's Jesus, too. It's probably a good gig, actually. Mm -hmm. That's what you should yeah, be well, doing, man. You should be dressing like Jesus and going into restaurants and just sitting there by yourself and just see <laughs> see if anyone says anything. <laughs> oh, Jesus, we better count his meal. What was that? But, oh, what is that, Jesus? We better count his meal. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just be knocking back drinks like crazy. You're exactly a real jerk off. You get a little hammered over that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a better chance with pulp things. 
Maybe. That would be entertaining. But think of it. You, you go to comedy shows and heckle people, and when <laughs> they go to throw you out, I'd be like, you're throwing Jesus out? <laughs> 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 That'd be good stuff. You need if you do that though, you have to get a camera on it. Because you guys are worse than the Romans. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that's a deep joke, sir. Nice job. <laughs> hey, I try. Yeah. See, there you go. I just th- there's a TV show for you. I set you up. It's called Jesus in the City. Jesus in the City. Yeah. You sure it's not Jesus in the City? Man, it could be. Fair enough. Yeah, you just need like four or five uh, broads to uh, escort you around town too. Make sure one of them's name is Mary Magdalene, of course. Of course. Yeah, and, I mean, because Shen was supposed to play her role. Yeah, but in the whole time she has to be like, you know, like my name's Cinnamon or something like that. Like she could be like, you know, that's not my name. You're like no, it is. I'm yeah. Jesus. The whole time. Yeah. Or Jesus just want you know pretty much thinks he's kind of still in his time, but. Clearly, he's just confused as he's a... It's just a homeless guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. It's a homeless pimp. Four are happening at all times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd be a nice twist on it, actually. With Jesus the pimp? Yeah. Because, mm. I mean, you know, who's going to suspect him? Because some velvet robes. Ooh. Looking nice. Yeah. And I, I'm sure Prado would like the velvet robes. Oh, definitely. You right? know how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're soft and classy. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Nice shiny sandals. Well, of course. Got to have the shiny sandals. Mm-hmm. Big uh, aviator sunglasses. Oh, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Luxurious hair blowing in the breeze. Always. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's got a bitch to bring a fan around. Pipe. What was that? I'll be smoking out of a pipe that blows bubbles. <laughs> 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 nice, nice, giant pinky ring. Well, of course. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, pink, yeah. pinky rang. Rang. <laughs> yeah. But does he wear the gold yeah. cross, ironically? Uh, probably not. Okay. Brings yeah. up too many bad memories. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> All right. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. You know, at some point in the series, one of his bitches turns on him and he, you know, refers to her as Judas. <laughs> of course. It's actually Rob well, we Halford. Do, we gotta, we gotta make sure we have some good people to play these roles. We gotta name some nice actresses before I really consider it. You know? It's true. It's true. I actually think um, the bitch that turns on you should be Drew, <laughs> <laughs> like in a, in drag, and then he like, ri- whoops, the, and then he like rips off the wig, and he's like, "I'm actually a man." <laughs> <laughs> wearing a power wig? Well, yeah, sure. Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'd wear a powdered wig. He seems like the type. Oh, yeah, he definitely would. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or he'd want to dress up as a wrestler. He'd be like, I want to dress up like Macho Man or Ric Flair. Can't go wrong either way. Woo! Thank you, Brian. Yeah. He, he has all the outfits to do. He's done it before, so I'm sure he just has to go in his closet. It's not like he has to, you know, find the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? If that's going to happen, though, we just got to see if we can get Ric Flair. I'm sure he's available. Uh, he does have a lot of alimony. It's true. I heard that he uh, he just got like divorced again, so he's like completely broke. Yeah, that seems to be the story of his life. He's paying alimony to like ten different women right now. What a silly bastard! When he's done mopping the gym, he wrestles in it. <laughs> Poor yeah, guy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ouch! <laughs> but I love Ric Flair. I do too. But <laughs> as long as he keeps his shirt on at this point, I you know that's true. No one elbow drops a jacket like the nature boy. (laughs) With them titties, he could fill in for Tate. That's true. (gasps) You're right. (laughs) That's who you guys need to get on your show. What, Ric Flair? Yeah. That'd make Drew's day, eh? Oh, man, man, it'd be amazing to have Nate on the show. And I mean that. I'm 100% legitimate mean that. I would love to talk with him. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I I wouldn't even pull any of this other bullshit up. I just want to talk to him about... You know, the high flying, the, all that stuff. Limo driving, kiss dealing. Yep. Wheeling, dealing, son of a gun. Yes. Yeah. And ask him if I can have his robe. It's probably already been sold. Ouch. <laughs> Just say. Or you mean he's like his bathrobe? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure I could buy one. True. He meets the big tip requirement at this point. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah, we're that definitely would work. Yeah. Can you imagine him doing the news stories and stuff with us? That'd be great. 
That would be fun, wouldn't well, it? Seriously, who who could be better bringing you back from a break than Nature Boy? I agree completely. Nobody. It's, it'd be tough to find a better one. Yeah. You gotta look into that, man. It's true. You find some time when, like, you know, he's with WWE still, and they come through Toledo or whatever. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Yeah. We, Anything else, Bredo? You got more stuff? <laughs> yeah, we're just over half an hour, so we probably should wrap it up before too long. But Alrighty. For this time. Agreed. We got uh, the lovely Tate coming along soon. Yeah, she uh, just, just messaged me and told me that she's ready to go. She's so. warming up in the batter circle. Yep. <laughs> she's got the weight on the bat swinging <laughs> yep, <exactly. it>. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Donut. Yep. <laughs> hey, I could go for a donut. That sounds I could delicious. Too, yeah. Uh, uh, anyways, <laughs> just saying. Damn, us being easily distracted <laughs> by <laughs> treats, <laughs> fried dough. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is fun, Prado. Mm-hmm. We'll have to do it again Thank sometime. You, yeah, do. You... I hope, hope they get to hang out with you in person soon. That oh seems, yeah. That seems to be the wheels are in motion. Yeah, I. I I don't see us swinging through New York for, you know, and not trying really hard to make that happen. Oh, for sure. I mean, unless it's just if, crazy. If you guys come, I'll, I can find you. You know, that's, I would make that uh, that promise. That know? sounds so kind of like a threat. Well, I know Jeannie's been trying to drag me to New York for ever. Oh, it's so. going to happen. Like yeah. I said, I, I want to go because, you know, I have my reasons. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you want to twirl around and throw you, your uh, hat in the air? Right? right? Yeah. I agree. Exactly. <laughs> well, I'll be there to do it with you, my friend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Someone's got to video it. <laughs> yep. Tony's going to be, like, get, shooting at me. I'm going to make sure you don't get beat up when you do that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's got to watch my wallet. <laughs> oh, I thought somebody had to hold me yeah, back. I'm not one of these guys. I'm going to beat them up and rob them. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, Tony would probably be over there leading the charge. Yeah. <laughs> Get, Get him! Some bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Go upside your head with a growler. Yeah, he'll do that. Especially if he thinks he'll get another growler. Yeah, not one of my good growlers. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're friends and all, but beer. Yeah, it is beer. <laughs> oh, man. All right, right well, uh, once again, uh, Prado is part of the Anti-Semantic Show, which is part of the lovely and talented uh, PodGods Network Indeed. that we're with. What what day does uh, your uh, uh, do your new shows go up? On Fridays. Fridays, okay. Yeah. I never remember because yeah. auto update. Yeah. Well, it all depends. I mean, sometimes we're a little inconsistent when they come out because uh, you know Pin is working two jobs now, so oh. it's supposed to be on Friday. So, but we always tweet them and put them on Facebook at facebook dot com slash anti semantic show. So you can always find them there and talk to me on the Twitter, and I always uh, put up the links. And, uh, yeah. Nice. All right. Yeah, and Tony will put up the uh, info for Anti-Semantic Show on our website. Certainly. Or if not, you can always hit us up on Twitter and we'll send you the right way. Yep, exactly. Or I believe if you go on Stitcher, if you just type in Anti-Dash, um, I think they're like the first one that comes up. I don't know. Not or Anti-Semantic, I don't know. Whatever. So, there you go. Yeah, we're the only one. Exactly. One of a kind. One of a kind. All, All right, right, guys. Well, thanks again, and hopefully we get to do it again soon. All righty. Right on, man. We'll see you, Prado. Yep, good talking to you, bro. All right, thanks. You yep. Too. Bye. Bye. All right, well, that was a good talk. Yeah, that was good. All right. Yeah. So, uh, should we... Uh, Start yeah. the show show? Yeah, I believe so. All right. Like eight kids there that day? <laughs> yeah. It was a small school. <laughs> Everybody like booked it. And she, yeah, seven it's like, kids that were like, "Ooh, boobs!" Oh. It's three D National Geographic titties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, all you can eat pancakes <laughs> slapping clerk, around. The clerk says that uh, meters was rain <laughs> rain Friday afternoon and ordered held on three thousand dollars bill. She doesn't have a lawyer yet. Huh? You'd think she'd have one on retainer. <laughs> the North Albany Academy is. Pre-kindergarten through eighth grade school in the Albany district. Where apparently she thought it was okay to get on stage and work it. 
apparently. Yeah. Jesus. Worth it. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Holy oh my god. Shit. <laughs> what was what wrong with people? Face? I wanna know why she thought it was okay. God damn it, I wanna interview these people sometimes. I just wanna know why she only has her fake eyelashes on one eye. She was like she was like She's like way clockwork orange. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> she was dancing so hard the other side fell off. Welly, 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 well. What do we have here? Yeah, nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, see, the eye that's on our right is the good eye. The one on the left is the lazy eye, so it didn't want to put its eyelashes on that day. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Grumpy too. Like she looks like she will kick your ass. Well, well they didn't like. I'm surprised there wasn't like a fight. Yeah. that happened after her twerking. <laughs> Maybe they let her finish. Oh god. Add <laughs> <laughs> <And I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> it, girl. They're throwing like milk curtains at her. <laughs> <laughs> Bendy straws and shit. Yeah. Those little awful cups of ice cream. Oh, with the horrible little wooden paddles. Little wooden paddle uh, spoon thing. God damn it. Yeah. Because it's a propeller or a spoon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, if you have a rubber band, it's both. Yeah. yeah excellent. MacGyver some shit. Hell yeah. Paper clip in there. And... Yeah, exactly. All right, then. Build a getaway plane. <laughs> no. Look at her. There's no way. That's true. New. New, new, new. She, she kind of like a, almost has a cleft chin in this little thumbnail I see, too. All right. I'm on, I'm on the next story. Uh, I moved ahead. Uh, yeah. I, I skipped. It's got I like see. a cleft chin. All right. Look at that. It's weird. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes. Man throws semen at women in New Mexico Walmart. Cops. Tony. Multiple, <laughs> multiple MIGs. <laughs> Cops in front of New Mexico on a hunt of a man they see. They said either threw or ejaculated <laughs> semen onto at least two women on separate occasions. Wow! I love that they have no idea which. Yeah, it was, like, it's like was it over the shoulder or? I mean, he does kegels. He's got ridiculous range. <laughs> oh, dude, that's just not right. Dick he's has he's yeah, a exactly. fucking sharpshooter. Yeah, yeah, he sets up cans, and knocks Bing. down. Bing. <laughs> It's like, time to take my skills to the real world. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, man. A Friday police released a surveillance <laughs> video of the suspect this week and said they believed he targeted, he literally targeted, oh, you know, random shoppers there. in a Walmart. <laughs> we think he's been doing this since at least 2010. Oh, wow. <laughs> he may not have stopped. Ah, wow. Nice, nice. These are just the only incidents that have been reported. So the other one was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just kept uh, shooting and it looked like uh, what's her name coming out of the pool in Fast Times <laughs> right gross uh, let's see Kates or whatever there it is thank yeah. you you're right Kates the attacks happened on March 29th 2010 and November 8th 2012 we were able to tie two instances, instances together of evidence that recently came <laughs> to light oh well, did he miss a couple times <laughs> Farmington's Walmart isn't the only retail area plagued by perverts. Yeah, any store Tony goes to. Back, wow, this is a creepy <laughs> one. Back in 2007, police re released a surveillance photo of a man accused of throwing animal semen on schoolgirls in Manchester, England. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> well, his dungarees hold a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Just sloshing around. Oh, <laughs> oh. Was he like a farmer oh. carrying a bucket of milk? Yes. Oh, gross. <laughs> this is a double dare. Get out of those. <laughs> <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. Way to make a fucking call back. <laughs> That's some good <laughs> shit right there. Childhood. Damn. Yep. It's all right. I, I, I went back to the 60s when we were talking to Prado. <laughs> yeah, so. he did. It's all right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Good old throw, semen throwing man. Yeah. Spider man. Well, it might not have been thrown. That's true. We're not he sure. He just might be a hell of a marksman. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I hope he is. Me too. That's a much better story if he is. He's I like, know. hey, hey, check this out. Like under his leg. <laughs> 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 Look, my no hands. <laughs> Bing, <laughs> Bing. <laughs> Look, I'll pop a balloon and get you a bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how we impress the ladies on the dates. 
<laughs> Gross. <laughs> no? You're not going to New Mexico? <laughs> I, I think I'll pass right now. All right. I've been there. Not going to go hang out in the Walmarts in New Mexico just in case. <laughs> Look around for his creep on his cell phone for his dopey hat. It doesn't matter because he's such a, a sharpshooter. He can get you from that's anywhere. That's true. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Man. True. Yep. All right. Oof. <laughs> go on, Brian. I don't want to read this one. Oh, you'll Too be bad. Fine. Fine. North Carolina state representatives have introduced a bill that would clarify state law to specifically prohibit the bearing of women's breastuses. Women worried about showing too much of their private area should use pasties or perhaps duct tape. What? Go fuck yourself. Right? The proposed legislation, House Bill 34, would make it a Class H felony to expose external organs of sex and of excretion, including the nipple or any portion of the areola of the human female breast. Representative Rain, yeah, Rain Brown, Republican, who co-sponsored the bill, said that while it may seem frivolous and even funny, there are communities across the state, there's local governments across the state, and also local law enforcement for whom this issue is really not a laughing matter. Brown said that she was prompted in part by Asheville's second annual topless protest and women's rally this past August. Asheville is around 130 miles from Brown's district. It's not in her district? Uh, according to the Asheville Citizen Times, the event last year drew around a dozen women who took off their shirts to promote women's equality. Mm. A dozen women. And they're going to put a bill into place. All right. The AP yeah. reports that depending on the intent of the exposure, women could face up to six months in prison for an errant areola Ugh. with more mundane exposure resulting in a 30-day sentence. There's an exemption for breastfeeding. At least there's that. I actually didn't catch that when I skimmed this the first time, but... The AP goes to write that HB 34 would give law enforcement authority to make arrests and would clear up confusion stemming from a 1970 state court of appeals ruling which said the term private parts, as then specified in state law, did not include breasts. WRAL writes that uh, Rep. Sarah Stevens, Republican, who chairs the North Carolina House Judiciary Subcommittee C, downplayed the impact the bill might have, but the committee member... Representative Annie Mobley, Democrat, worried it might penalize women for wearing questionable fashions. Hmm. Representative Tim Moore, Republican, on the other hand, said to WRAL, you know what they say, duct tape fixes everything. No. <laughs> no, I disagree. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I understand the thinking, but, like, the only people that don't want to see the titties are Republican women. Prudes! Yeah. Jealous of the titties. According to this. Yes. Anyway. I find it really interesting that they aren't citing, like, that last year there were 300 or 400 arrests made because of protesting and this and that, that it's from a, the, the example that's given is that 12-ish women show up. Yeah. Yeah. That hardly seems like that's worth the police's time to show up, arrest them, book them, put them through the ju you know ju or the the process. Uh, yeah. But that's, that's a waste. Twenty four nipples. I, I mean, I don't think that it'll actually happen. Gigantic. Yeah. What they, they're they're gonna give them a charge for each. Yes, uh, each nipple, nipple exposed. Yep. That would suck if you have a uh, third or fourth nipple. That's true. I don't know. This could get really nitpicky. Nitpicky? Uh, 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 yeah, stop there it. You uh, uh, <laughs> and, you uh, know, the girls could be like, oh, well, like fat guys have their shirt off. It's they true. have bigger tits than me. It's true. If I'm you the know? biggest loser, they have to edit fat guy chest. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, they mosaic that out. So that tells you something. I don't know. I mean, settle down. It's only boobs. Yeah. I agree. Whip yeah. them out, ladies. Yeah. Most people have nipples. It's I don't understand why it's so goddamn offensive. I don't yeah. get it either. Oh, my kids saw nipples. It's like, they have them. Meanwhile, let's sit in front of this murder show. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Leave Dora alone. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you dare stare at that, that boob, that but this body. Even have parents. Yeah, like, she's wandering the earth by herself. Yeah, <laughs> with a we're monkey. Wandering. We're super concerned about boobs, and we have this child mm -hmm. <laughs> wandering around with a pedophile monkey. I, I want someone to show me where the actual proof that a kid seeing nipples is 
going to ruin them for it life. Ruin there them. isn't. That's any. my yeah, exactly. Because it's not. Wait, what? Are you yeah. sure? It's not going to ruin them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking positive. Yeah. <laughs> not to mention how many parents like shower or bathe with their kids when they're little. Yeah. So yeah. they've already seen them. Yeah. Like I don't yeah. I don't understand I, it. I, they see them every day when they get dressed or whatever. Yeah. Yep. There you go. It's mm-hmm. just boobs. It's, just, yeah. it's not that big of a deal. Right. It's not like you're forcing them to watch someone fuck. Oh. <laughs> you sit no. down here and you watch. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, I I'm going to give it to your ma good. No, this is how babies are made. not a good idea. <laughs> All right. I'll get behind that. But. Yeah. <laughs> boobs? <laughs> boobs? No. Yeah. Yeah. Settle down. All right. Fine. I agree. Settle down, Republicans. Settle down, anyone who supports that. Yeah, right? Choice next story date. (laughs) Man allegedly drives car while sucking on dildo. Hot. Mm. Gotta do something for those road trips. It's true. (laughs) Trying to stop smoking, man. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. You know, it's. Don't say this guy sucked. According to an arrest obtained by a smoking gun, police in Trenton, Michigan. Nice. <laughs> Shout out? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we're good. Right. Uh, I think that's a good distance from us. Yeah. So. Received a 911 call Monday morning reporting that an individual was in a, quote, silver car sucking on a dildo. <laughs> Typical quote, call, I'm a sure. Local park. <laughs> you just show it off to our park members. <laughs> okay, boys, come oh, over no. here. Oh, fancy. <laughs> Well, party. Sergeant Steve <laughs> Allen responded, and the concerned citizen pointing out the offending vehicle, which was driving out of the parking area at the at the park. Allen approached and noted a flesh-colored dildo. I That's not color. silver, yeah. Oh, silver. Silver car. car. Oh, all right. Sorry, I was with you, Tate. All right. All right. Yeah. Good. Uh, flesh-colored dildo on the passenger seat, according to the report. He says that when he asked the driver what he was doing, the man replied. <laughs> Did it have its seatbelt? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did it have its seatbelt on? Did they ticket him for that? It should have. Mm-hmm. That's his buddy. I Special. just love that he's like, yeah. what the fuck? I'm sucking a dildo, yeah. motherfucker. Wait, you got a problem? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. What? This isn't normal? Uh, he also allegedly admitted to having a problem with sex. <laughs> really? Uh-huh. No shit. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, right. The man whose name has been redacted from the report was arrested on charge of disorderly conduct. No, contact. Toy- what is disorderly oh, contact. contact? I don't know. All right. Apparently sucking uh, a dildo in a park. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. Sex toys <laughs> winding up. Ugh. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sex toys winding up thrust into the center of <laughs> crime Of course. There's nothing new. In November, South Carolina woman Artisha Donaldson re- misplaced her detachable latex penis, which sparked an argument between the woman and her girlfriend. We read that, didn't we? I think so. Sounds familiar. Okay. Police were called uh, when the dispute turned violent w- with Donaldson allegedly throwing an ironing board at the woman. Yeah, we did. That's a natural response. Um, what yeah. you should be using. In April, Lisa Anderson of Waterton... New York allegedly violated the penal law uh, by throwing a pink sex toy at a police officer. So if it was red or something, it would have been fine, right? Yeah, but no, it's pink. Oh, so. that is offensive. Vagi- vagina. Right. It, well, she bought it to raise awareness for breast cancer. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Susan Komen pink sex I toy. Lo- like, I don't even care what this dude did. Mm-hmm. He like, owned it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, me too. I you think know? they should have let him off with a warning. I'm sorry, sir. I was sucking this dildo yeah. in the parking lot. Just get the knock on the window. Sir, what are you doing? I'm just sucking on this dildo. Carry on. <laughs> it could have been a lot worse. Oh, so, man. You know, just let him. Yeah, right? I, uh, How about I get there and suck it with has you? Problem with sex toys. Clearly Obviously. he does. <laughs> they taste delicious. <laughs> I love that lady. <laughs> Man, that's fantastic. He just opens up the package. Just... <sighs> <sighs> New sex toy smell. <laughs> he goes through the sex shops and just fucking opens everything. I can't wait to go to the park and suck this. 
He's got a he's got a picnic blanket if it laid out next to him. Yeah, he's a picnic basket. Yeah. He reaches in. It's just a bunch of it's, dildos. No, no, it's just like a big loaf of bread. No. <laughs> he pulls out like a giant fucking wang. A bunch of like grapes and cheese yeah. cubes. Yes, yes. So it's and you know big giant dildo. Right. So, it's uh, your picnic basket. All day. here is why do birds suddenly appear <laughs> every time? You and me. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's fantastic. Oh, this would be a gr- terrific internet video, <laughs> right? Oh. Well, it's, it's a beautiful love story. It Let's is. Move. It is. Ah, <laughs> uh, what time are we up, Brian? Uh, where, where, where? What time to read the last story? Right. We're good. We're good. Woman attacks boyfriend after catching a mash debating. Avoids jail in Australia. Well, it's Australia. A man she was making ha- koala sounds at him. <laughs> <laughs> a man is having a little shout out to time. Oz. Shout out to Oz. In the shower, was attacked by his girlfriend. The Warwick uh, Daily News reports that the woman then kicked in the shower door, smashed a large television, Holy shit. and attacked oh, her partner's mother when the mother tried to phone the police after she caught him masturbating. Wow. Wow. The incident took place in Warwick, Australia yeah. last November. Last week, the woman, who was not named for legal reasons, Pussies. was sentenced to three months in prison after pleading guilty to breaching a domestic violence order, <laughs> according to the paper. However, she was immediately paroled without serving any jail time. <laughs> uh, Fark suggests, you may be with the wrong girl if you have to fap alone in the shower, especially if she then kicks in the shower door, catches you, smashes the TV, and attacks her mom to keep her from calling the cops. <laughs> point well taken. That's a good point. That's a good point. S- Sexually frustrated ladies are the fodder of the legendary Weird News tombs. Uh, see, this is all... Bleh. Yes. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty intense. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he's yeah. just sitting there like, ah! It's <laughs> going crazy. Well, he's in the shower. It's not like he was in the living room when her parents were over or something. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe she really wanted that uh, poison. I was in the shower. He's having a wank. She kicked the door in, smashed my TV, attacked me mom. <laughs> and then had a Foster's. And I had a Foster's. Sorry, a Ted's. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, sorry, a Ted's. I had a Ted's. Had a Ted's. Yeah. yeah. Uh, something and extra. Then killed a koala or something. No. Yes. no. Wow, that's insane. Floated ins- ahead? Yeah. Yeah, he did. <laughs> All over go. the shower wall, baby. Oh. <laughs> Damn it, it looked like Jackie O's dress. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, color, too. Exactly. I was just recalking the wall. <laughs> she came in and interrupted me. Oh. So did he make it over before uh, she was done with her attacking? I don't know. Do you think he stopped or did he just like she ran out and attacked his body? He was just like, eh. Well, that's what I'm saying. Make yeah. it over, I meant. As yeah, a, I would a, like yeah. to think that he finished up. Me too. Because like he knows that she's psycho. Yeah. I, I would hope. If yeah. not, oh, man. I agree. I doubt- Something like this is the first crazy yeah. thing she's done. Right. I heard my mom screaming. I finished me wank. <laughs> it helped. It helped me climax. <laughs> uh, he can only climax when his mom screams bloody murder <laughs> yeah. while his girlfriend's attacking her. Yeah. His dad used He's to violently like, fuck her. <laughs> yes. Yes. I can only finish when I've been a door's been kicked in, a TV's been smashed, and me mom's been attacked I, by my girlfriend. I learned it from me dad. So he used to bang me mom. <laughs> <laughs> Had a abu- very abusive household. <laughs> but I'm fine now. But I'm fine now. <laughs> oh, cheers, mate. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> Kick the door in, bounce a boomerang off a of face. <laughs> By boomerang, you mean crusty sock, Yes. Right? Okay. And fuck it angrily. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that's how it's done in Australia, I believe. It's we should have asked Oz when we had him on. It's true. Next time. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, then. He's to putting it out back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yep. Well, yeah. that's the news. <laughs> it sure is, Ryan. <laughs> All righty. Well, let's uh, move to our... Very mature as usual. Of course. We're professionals. Yeah. Everything yeah. always above the waist on this show. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, <laughs> the pants are on the ground all the time. <laughs> it's true. 
<laughs> pants, what are those? Uh, it's a song, I believe. <laughs> pants. Pants. Do, do, do. pants. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's so what, voicemail. Yeah, we uh-huh. got we got two voicemails. Yeah. Do, do, do. <gasps> First one's from Jared, crack field reporter. Yes, as he titled himself, or you did, whatever. Mute my shit. Turn it up a little bit. Yeah. Turn right. it up. Hey guys, it's Jared calling in. I've uh, got my top five for this week, but before that, I just want to start off by saying thank you to Brian, Tony, and Tate for your massive support and all the bullshit that I've been going through the last week. And of course, to all my other podcasting friends out there, you all know who you are. Thank you, everyone, for your support. It's been very helpful, and I greatly appreciate it. All right, now on to the good stuff. Um, I missed last week's top five, so I'll just give you my top two. Number two for my bucket list would be to visit Ireland. And my number one would be, while in Ireland, to drink Guinness straight from the source. That is the two things I want to do before I die. And now on to this week, my top five worst foods. Uh, number five, I'm going to start with the ham and gravy baby food. Tried feeding my son this, and he about spits it back in my face. So, <laughs> good call. That's nasty stuff. Moving on to number four, I have tripe. Anything that has to do with innards, not a part of it. Did he say innards? Innards. Um, okay. Number three, since I will eat just about anything. I'm gonna go with anything featured on bizarre foods. That dude eats some nasty shit. Uh, number two, I don't think any of you guys will agree with me on this one, but asparagus. Tried it many different ways, just don't like it. And my number one has to be haggis. I've been around that shit, I've tasted it, and it tastes just like it smells. So <laughs> that's my top five. I'm not a fan of haggis. Thank you all again, and thanks all being go fuck yourself. All right. That's, uh, that's an interesting list. Tate so, could hear zero of it, but... Yeah, that's weird. That was pretty it's sweet. Got to be that fucked up cord we were messing with before yeah. we started recording. I'm glad we only have two voicemails. Cause yeah, sorry, Tate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. first part of his voicemail was really nice because he thanked us all for our support during his garbage he's been dealing with. Certainly did. So. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll hear it. No, later. no, mm. no. Mm-mm. Stricken from the record. <laughs> 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 if you can't hear it, I'm cutting it out of the show. No, <laughs> I kid. Our, right. our next voicemail is from T, the Ebony Rhino. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? This is T calling in with my top five worst food. Number five, I got avocado. Number four, I got cucumber. Number three, is cauliflower. Number two is how many corn? It's white corn. That's why I hate it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and number one is pig feet. Never ever will I touch that nasty shit. Oh my god. He's a black All right, y'all. Like Till next time, stay salty. Love Go it. fuck yourself. I'm out. All right. I'm really sorry you didn't hear that take because his number two is how many corn. He doesn't like it because it's white corn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What a racist. What a racist I bastard. I love it. It was hysterical. Mm-hmm. His other stuff was pretty normal. Yeah. It was like avocado, cucumber, and cauliflower were his other three. Yeah. Like, Who doesn't like avocado? I agree. Oh, I'm not a big fan. I'll eat it, but I'm really not I'll a fan. I'll tear that shit oh. up. Yeah. Well, oh. I've seen you like humping avocados before. Yes. So it's kind of weird. I'll hump them right there with you. All right. We'll High we'll five. tag team that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eiffel Tower over a fucking. That's yeah. That's really right. Odd. Fuck yeah. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Who am I to get in the way? <laughs> not an avocado, sir. Nope. <laughs> Definitely not an avocado. <clears throat> All right. All right. So uh, I'll go, I'm going to read off uh, Diggity's top five here because for some reason he didn't call in with it, which I guess. What a dick. Dick Diggity. There you go. Um, Dickish Diggity. Oh, that is not his top five at all. That is something completely different. All right. <laughs> there it is. All right. all right. Diggity's top five are the foods he loves to eat but often regrets in the end in the order of least regret to most regret. All right. Got that? Yeah. No, number five is Chipotle. Wait. What? Was that? Was that the thing? No, no, that's what he did. We were just going with like worst or least favorite. That's his ginger interpretation of it. That's him being diggity. So, so. he's disappointing diggity then. Well, yeah, but he's already been disappointed. Well, he's always disappointing diggity, but. Wah, wah. Mm. 
that's why that sound plays every time he talks. <laughs> no, <laughs> I kid, I kid. <laughs> kind of. Uh, number five for him is Chipotle. Uh, and he put, unless I take my Chipotle away, which is a nice South Park reference. Uh, number four is any Chinese buffet, like all you can eat gastrointestinal lottery, which oh, is true. It's why I don't like Chinese I, food. Oh, sweet sour rat. That's true. <laughs> Buffet is disgusting. That's true. Uh, number three is Fazoli's, which he put delicious bulimia-inducing fettuccine. Diggity, find a real Italian restaurant, dude. Mm -hmm. Stop mm -hmm. with the Fazoli's or make your own shit. Number two, McDonald's. I have a love-hate relationship with Big Macs. I understand yeah. it, actually. Yeah, I, I have a hate-hate hey. relationship with those. Hey, 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 that's very close to my heart. <laughs> I, I <don't laughs> Literally, it's right here. Because it's clogging. <laughs> uh, and his number one, or uh, the one he regrets the most, is uh, Taco Bell, which he put shame, regret, and diarrhea, but I keep coming back. Fair enough. Pretty much a description of the show, too. <laughs> Diarrhea, <laughs> diggity. <laughs> oh, Diarrhea right. diggity, huh? Wow. Too bad, that's it. There it Diarrhea is. Diggity. All right. I'm not going to argue with you. You're right. <clears throat> All right. You, you got any other random list? I do. I have Jen's. Uh, her number right. five is cooked cabbage. Mm -hmm. Number four are olives. Number three, raw onion. Number two, mushy peas. <laughs> mushy peas. Yeah, like not in the pod, but just like, like when the, they're Like in a yeah. can or whatever. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And number one for her is cooked carrots, which she will not eat. Really? What? But they're delicious. She will eat raw carrots on a salad or something like that. She will not eat cooked carrots like at crock all. crock pot, pot nope. roast carrots? Nope. She oh. she picks them out. Oh well, I, I end up More eating all me. of them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what I think. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I got... Jeannie gave me two. That's right. not five, Jeannie. It's not five Learn at all. Learn to count. But her number two is anything her mom makes. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. And number one is seafood because it'll kill her. Eh, terrible yeah. reason. I agree. I, penicillin's not all, on my list. All seafood or just like shellfish? And the, stuff? Anything that comes out of the ocean, she's allergic to. Mm -hmm. Which like, sucks mm -hmm. for me because I love seafood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just... she, she couldn't uh, eat Hasselhoff during Baywatch? No. Okay. <laughs> just asking. The oh, Hoff. Lucky her. <laughs> I know, right? She prefer, <laughs> prefers him when he's been on the bathroom floor with the cheeseburger anyways. <laughs> it's a great burger. <laughs> All right. Yuck. What do we got? Now on to the stars of the show. All right. Mine are Me and not Tate? in any order, by the way. Ugh. As usual. You're as always fucking so usual. aggravating. Do, do you at least have no, a number one? I'll have a number one. Okay, good enough. All right. Anyway. Start okay, us off. First? Yeah, why not? All right. Uh, sour cream. Fucking R disgusting. Really? Not, not at all? Okay. Never. What about a sour cream yeah. donut? No. no. No? What about a sour cream smoothie? <laughs> I'm sorry. I got nothing. Night. Night. I was trying to come up. It's nothing. It's some bullshit I made up. You know who makes no. a kick-ass sour like... cream waffle? This guy. Uh, I'll pass. It's delicious. So, like, you don't use sour cream at all? Like, even as, like, a mild ingredient, nothing? Okay. I'm just no. just asking. All right. It's Fair. fucking gross. I oh. hate it. Okay. Don't like the taste or consistency thing, or is it? I don't. Both. Okay. Also, it's, like, pointless calories when you mix it and stuff, so. All no right. thanks. Adds a little gaminess. I'm just do a dollop. Do, do a dollop. All right. Fair enough. Anyway, let's move past me. No, no, let's keep talking let's about focus the sour on the sour cream. cream. Yeah, let's... What's your thoughts against Daisy and Nicole companies? Yeah, no dollops for oh. Tate. No. Mm -mm. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Just go on. All right. No, I'm curious. That was kind of weird. All right. Okay. I don't want to talk about my thing. I know. It's fine, dude. We're just fucking with you. You know it. You go. My number five is Menudo. The band? Or that the group? That too. And the Mexican soup. <laughs> <laughs> it's that... not just soup. That's what I. That's where I had it. Was soup. Oh well, yeah. it doesn't. It doesn't mean soup. Well, I, I don't know. It's just cow brains. Yeah, mine was. It was tread tripe Tacos, in it. Tacos, soup. Yeah, it was not good. Anything. Really, I had a free sample. It wasn't tasty. Well, it was okay, no, but I didn't want not. it. It's too chewy. Yeah. It yeah. Yeah. It's very stringy. Yeah. Although it was hilarious because my son was like, I don't know about this soup, Dad. It has honeycomb in it. I'm like, that's yeah, cow stomach. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. Honeycomb. Yeah. But my dog loved to shit out of it. I don't want to go to that honeycomb hideout. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's not big. 
Brian? My, my number five is non-scrambled eggs. I can use them as an ingredient, and I can eat them like scrambled. I, there, I can go. There's a couple. Like I can go like scrambled frittata omelet. I can do. I cannot eat anything where I taste the egg whites. Essentially, no though. dipping eggs. I can do that. So you don't want like a, it's more like the like egg white. Easy. No. Well, again, it's I can't taste as long as I cannot taste the egg white. That's I, what the hot sauce is for. I cannot. What? I can't you don't do like that. the healthy part. No, I that's the thing is I forced myself a lot of times to eat them, but I hate them. I'd much rather just eat the yolk. <laughs> I like the whole fucking thing. Wow. Yeah. That's weird. I dominate an egg. Of course it's weird. It's me. It is weird. Yeah, I love egg. Hell yeah, I eat them every morning. I only eat egg whites for the most part. And I absolutely cannot eat anything that looks like a deviled egg or a hard boiled egg. Oh, well, I won't eat there. Just the thought of well, either of them make me want to yak. And so. I'll still eat those. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I didn't put that on my list, but I Just agree saying. with that. All right. Yeah. What do you got next, Tate? Um, cream cheese. I was. I figured that that was coming because of the sour cream. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay, you're still there. The camera mm-hmm. fr- The camera froze, but I can still hear so you. So you don't want a shmia on your bagel? No. <laughs> Sh- no. What, what would you put on a bagel if you ate one? Um, if I ever ate a bagel, I said if probably won't. Right, that's why I said if. <laughs> um, it's an anti-Jewish thing, right? I don't know. Yeah, butter, I guess. Butter, all right. I was just curious. Yeah. Now, so you don't like cream cheese, right? Right. No. What are your thoughts on cheesecake? I, it's okay. I'll have like a couple bites and be done. I don't, I don't like, you know, get super excited for cheese. Well, I don't I don't get super excited for dessert or anything. It's fair. At all. It's fair enough. Clearly you haven't had a pumpkin cheesecake of a pecan pie topping. Oh, shit. Well, I don't like pumpkin shit. I don't More like pumpkin me. shit either, More but pumpkin. Fucking care. How about French I like, toast I do cheesecake. love a pumpkin pie, or a pecan pie. Yeah. It's I sh- love Fuck. Yeah. yeah. I'll eat the hell out of that. Yeah, I know you like but those. So throw down. On it. It. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. So I'm guessing butter pecan ice cream is right up your alley. No, I don't what? like ice cream that much. It's not an ice cream. Oh, all right. Mm-mm. Except the peppermint ice cream. Mm. Mm. Even that. I don't yeah, like I know. I was saying it because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all righty. Yeah. I guess my number. I'm not a big dessert person. Yeah. Mm, that's fair. Out of curiosity, what about like ricotta cheese or cottage cheese? Disgusting. Okay. I figured because similar things. Well, ricotta cheese, if you're going to like mix it with uh, like marinara sauce or whatever. And right. Then it's, then it's okay. Like lasagna. Uh-huh. That's all right. I'll eat that. Okay. But fair enough. I tried to eat some ricotta chocolate dessert thing. I threw up. What about like brie? Love it. There you go. That's Yeah. Brie rules. Yeah. Interesting. I love the fuck out of that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I knew that one too because you told me said something about grilled cheese to me with it or something. I think one time, didn't you? Grilled cheese. Mm-hmm. I like cheese. No, no, no. I mean, no. I like with brie. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I was just trying to think of our soft cheese, you know. Yeah, I was no, thinking of things. Not, on... It's not the soft cheese. It's the weird thing, you mm-hmm. know, that goes with the um. You know, sour cream, yeah. cream cheese. You know, shit. the gaminess. Gaminess. The gross. So no yogurt, I'm guessing. No, I like yogurt. No. I don't like vanilla. I'm all and fucking I don't, confused oh, then. I do not ever eat Greek yogurt because that's like swallowing cum and no thank you. <laughs> that's why Tony loves it so much, actually. It is I delicious. Know. Yeah. I know. He eats it by the buckets. I go Greek. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, like a boot. Every time he has yogurt, it's like bukkake. It's like, oh, <laughs> Yeah. All over him. It's exactly. it's pretty nasty. It's like twenty Asians throwing Greek yogurt on him. Yeah, I've, I've shown up at his house a couple times. It's pretty. I'm like disgusting. just mixing some blueberries, we'll be fine. Yeah, it looks like something that happened back in Rome. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Yeah, <laughs> not my deal. All right, well we'll move off of you. We'll my move. number four. Thank you. I know. Sorry. Is raw broccoli really? Oh, go, you know what? It I don't can go fuck itself. Yeah, I don't like raw broccoli either. I do. I will eat the shit out of any pretty much any other way broccoli is prepared, but. I'm not a really huge fan in general, but I'll eat it in oh, like a zoop. Love broccoli. Stuff like that. But, but I don't like it. Raw right. broccoli, fuck off. Yeah. And the funny part is I, I hate it raw, but like in like a stir fry where it's still crunchy, yeah. I will 
no problems with it. Hmm. I don't know why it's slightly different. Probably because right. it's with those, all those shit. Uh, my next one is fish. And that's a, a pretty wide scaping thing. And I will say this, that I actually am going to force myself to go back and start trying fish again. Mm. But my dad used to love eating fish. And like every time I've had fish, I hated it. However, I also will say that, I mean, given where we live, it's you're not really, you're not getting fresh fish either. Go get walleye or Lake Erie perch. Yeah, but I'm, you know what I mean? You're not getting, yeah. yeah. So fish. Weird. Um, I, I, all right. Uh, ranch dressing. Yes. We're here. Amen. Unless I'm dipping a breadstick in it. Nope. That's yeah. actually, I'll, yeah. I'll just say it this. That's my next one. Ranch slash blue cheese. I cannot. Oh. Ew. Blue okay, cheese will die. I'll include blue cheese too with yeah. mine. Yeah. Ugh. It's fucking disgusting. Here, like, I I've make... never actually had blue cheese oh. dressing, but I know it's disgusting because it's off. It smells awful. Have you had blue cheese by itself? Like on a yes, steak? Yes, I have. Oh. And it's gross. Can't what? Do it. Like Can't it. do it. Gorgonzola on a steak? That's different. It's kind of blue cheesy. But yeah. It's it's, there's that. The blue cheese doesn't really <laughs> melt. Melt. Yeah, it kind of stays. I don't like I'll eat the shit out of it. I don't like ranch dressing. It's disgusting. What disgusting. she said. I agree with her. I'll, I'll go this far. Ugh. I make salads for like I'll make a salad for Jen's lunch, and she loves ranch. And I go to put it, you know, into like a little cup thing so she yeah. can take the dressing with her. And I'm not kidding. I have to like turn my head the other way so that like I said I'll, I'll dip a breadstick. Oh, in it. That's my limit. Hate all oh, the smell of it makes me gag. Hate ranch. Hate, hate, yeah, hate, hate. Gross. That's my next one. So, oh, all right. My next one then is a uh, cheap, watery deli ham. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you put deli ham in there because cheap and watery. Because there's good ham and then there's the shit you buy that's just like sopping in water. <laughs> it's Can, like a sponge, but it looks like a ham. <laughs> well, because they increase the weight by giving yeah. it water, you yeah. know? It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> Cheap deli meat's the worst. I just fucking love your description of it. That's, that's fantastic. That's, it's yeah. The, yeah, cool. yeah. <laughs> it's like you squeeze it out and start washing your dishes Dude, with it. I'm telling yeah. you. It's, it's one of the reasons I have a aversion to deli ham is from, you know, being a, a ute. Yeah, well, I it, understand that. It's a cheap, watery yeah, deli I fully ham. I understand that, yeah. With all the traveling we did, I still don't yeah. want ham. All right, then. Oh, is it me? Yep. It is you. Oh, my my I next remember? my next one agreed with your last one, so because it oh, was okay. ranch and blue cheese was my next one. All right, so we're at number one then. Uh, no, deuce, deuce, deuce. deuce. Two? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, olives. No, not an olives. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Olives no. fan. Uh, actually, any, I'm not any kind. Yeah. Just fucking disgusting. Fair enough. Yuck. What about in a martini? No, I don't drink martinis. Oh, all right. Because of the olives. No. Oh, it all makes sense. <laughs> it's like, fuck this no, drink. Because, it throws well, it. <laughs> because of, like, the vodka taste. If we're going to drink, like, um, I don't know, like, Cosmos or lemon teeny or, Hold on. I you got, know, I got to slow you down. shit I can do. I got I to gotta slow you down a second. If I'm drinking a martini, it's a gin martini. <clears throat> oh, girl, I can't drink gin. It makes me, like, break out in hives. Oh, that's no good. Then wow. don't drink gin. Drink lots of it. <laughs> No, I just do vodka. Vodka. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Wow. Drink right. vodka, watch meteoros, smash neighbor's house. Always <laughs> something with you, isn't it? Yeah, can't help it. My number two is feta. Can I, I can't stand the smell more than anything. Mm. I can't get past the smell of it. It's I, I it's why I wouldn't remember when we went to um fuck, what was that that Greek place we went to with you guys? Uh um... The one that's downtown. Oh, yeah, with the belly dancing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, dude, like everything on their menu pretty much has feta on it. And I was like, oh, Manos. God. Manos, that's what Manos, it is. Manos, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stinky cheese. Damn Greeks. Greeks. Oh, no. No? Mm-mm. I don't like the taste either, but it's really difficult for me to get past the smell of it. Yeah, that's fair. I guess my number two. Right. Is... It's kind of like Tony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I smell delicious. I get nice. told all the time I smell delicious. That's true. You do normally smell like uh, lilac. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Um, my number two is beets. Beets, huh? I hate yeah. beets. I've tried many times because yeah. Jeannie loves them. Yeah. And I'm like, let me give it a try, and they're terrible. Yeah, I got used to them when I was a kid because my dad loved them. Yeah, I just, so I, I don't like deal. them, but I don't hate them either. It's not my I deal. Can, I can eat them. 
Uh oh. The hell? That's her dog. Sounds like the beast is loose. <laughs> and yeah. it's awake. There we go. So, what's your uh, number one, Tate? Uh, Nato, or Nato, however you say it. I don't know. It's this um, fermented soybean Ooh, stuff. That sounds from delicious. From Japan. Ah. Uh, terrible. It's fucking disgusting, and they love the shit out of it. They'll ah. put it in these things that look like donuts. They're like these, like, dough balls, and they're, like, covered in, like, powdered sugar or whatever, and they look delicious, and then you bite it, and it's this disgusting, like, <laughs> fermented soybean in the middle instead of, like, jelly donut or whatever. That sounds like it, a great trick to play on tourists. That's what, what it sounds like. What does it taste like? No, they fucking love it. Yeah. What, they what, love it. What is it? What is it, like, briny and salty kind of, or? Um... It's like um, mushy and wow, fucking gross. I don't know. I don't know if you could get it here, but ugh, it's disgusting. It's one of the worst things I've ever tasted in my life. Wow. Wow. Oh, all right, then. That sounds yeah. tremendous. It does sound tremendous. It's awful. <laughs> I'm going to find it and send it to you, and you're going to, and I'm going to make you eat it. I'll so give it a whirl. <laughs> I wonder how she's gonna make you eat that. Well, I'll make you do it on camera uh, so I can watch you. Uh, Sorry, we'll fake it. We'll just make yeah. It. No. She won't know. We'll just run it through I'll Adobe know. After Effects. I've had it before. I'll know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll know. If you're like, eh, it's not so bad. I'll be like, liar. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> In your mouth, goddamn it! Whoa! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> oh no, that sounded really bad. That is not what I meant at all. All right. <laughs> I take that all back. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, next person, just move on. <laughs> so, so my number one is the dreaded microwave meatloaf. Which <laughs> has a great, great. Uh, you gonna tell the story? I, I don't have. I already. I don't know if you have. Go for it. Tell it. Well, once, I don't know this, right? All yeah, right. See. Well, once upon a time, when uh, Jeannie and I first yeah, started living to together, right? She's like, I'm going to make dinner. Now, let me go backwards. <laughs> and then Jeannie's <laughs> number two was anything her mom makes, right? Yes. So she said, I'm going to make meatloaf. Yes. She makes the meatloaf like you would with all the ingredients and throws it in the microwave to cook it because that's how she was raised. <sighs> So the meatloaf comes out, and it's this gray, disgusting, alien-looking mess, <laughs> and I threw it right in the garbage can. <laughs> the whole damn meatloaf. I just love that you didn't even try it. Like, nope. uh, not that I'm in disagreement, you know, disagreeing with you. I just love that you were like, no, yep, right in the nope, trash. Nope, right in the trash. <laughs> That's fucking And great. fortunately, I've, you know, she's I've taken her under my wing, and we... Our microwave is used for bread storage right now. We barely – well, it actually doesn't even work. Yeah, I was right like, now. doesn't even work. Yeah, it doesn't even yeah. work. We don't we, – we never use it anyway. We use it to make popcorn. That's about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I actually melt butter for the popcorn we make on the stove. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> oh, God. That's fair. We like our – we like good food. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My number one is cabbage. Coleslaw? Nope. Cabbage I like rolls. Cabbage, nope. though. Here's – I can eat cabbage one way. Corned beef and cabbage. Nope. Mm. I can eat cabbage one way. And that's, I can eat, like, the red cabbage on or in, like, salads. That's it. I can't eat, and if it's cooked, I can't even be in the house. Because hmm. I'm what? not, if it's if cabbage is being cooked around me, I will get sick. Like, if I can You're smell. You're a pussy, dude. No, I'm not, if, whatever. If I can smell it, I, I'm not kidding. It makes me vomit. Oh, man up. No. Just stop, yeah. stop making disgusting food. Sweet and sour cabbage. It's With really bacon. good. No. So. No. I've become more yeah, of a cabbage fan in my later years. You're a big years. baby. I don't know. Because I don't like cabbage? Whatever. Yeah. All right. No, not because you don't like cabbage. Because you can't even be in the I can't help house. it. That's pussyfied action. Whatever, right dude. There. Whatever. What, about, what about Cabbage Patch okay. Kids? Hate them. I don't blame you. They're Unless they're being cooked. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Put those in the oven, yeah, I'm then in. you hate them more. Oh. you're like, I can smell it. It grows. 
I can smell so it all over. It's the smell of cooked cabbage and burning baby. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, maybe the burning baby smells more than the cooking cabbage. <laughs> Who knows? What's that it's delicious dinner, meat I smell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like corned beef and cabbage, exactly. Yeah, and baby. baby. Yeah. Just pour some Guinness in there, we'll be yeah, all right. It's terrible. Now, I will say one thing is that uh, I saw, what was it? I was watching Good Eats one night, and Elton Brown talked about a way of making cabbage to where it takes the smell out of cooking it. Right. That might help. Because, now, again, it's a food, I can't get past the smell to eat it. Now, what about Brussels sprouts? Nope. Oh, man. Never had them in a way that I liked them. You're missing out. I've so. had them a variety of ways. And... Mm. Seriously? Yeah. There are many fucking cabbages. Why would I like them? Because they're delicious. Because they're delicious. <laughs> but they're cabbages. You roast them shits up with a little yeah. salt and pepper? Yeah. No? No. All right. No. Oh, yeah. And, and Jared, he said asparagus is on his list. <gasps> Boo. Damn it, Jared. Just, Boo. Jared, Just Boo. toss in olive oil and salt and pepper. Throw that shit on the grill. Yes. You'll love it. Trust me. Yes. My, it's my daughter's favorite food is grilled asparagus. It's pretty good. Yeah, my kid likes asparagus also. See? Yeah, it's crazy. Well, I yeah. don't think you're cooking it right, honey. Yeah. He's, he did say he's had it a variety of ways, but the question is, what's like? Is or do all of them involve a microwave or ways of making the asparagus all nasty and Let's soft? Let's steam it. Let's boil it. Boo. Grill or roast. Yes. I agree 100%, sir. Yeah. All right. I guess we don't have a top five for next week, which is bad. We can do something else. No, because Rose didn't call in. That's right. I can think about it later. No. Uh, yeah, we, we got all kinds of... something better than food. I don't like doing food stuff. It's well, not my favorite. But, you know, we haven't done of Tate yet. What? Not much. What? We haven't done uh, autocorrect theater of her. Yeah, we have. Have we? Yep. Do we did autocorrect theater of you? Yep. I don't remember this. Yep. We did one. Oh. I don't remember that you did. either. You did. I'm telling you, we did one. All right. You say so. Wow, that's got everyone knows my memory shit. Yeah, so. mine is too. So they may be wrong. <laughs> two, two people with shit memories. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what you're fucking talking about. So all hmm. right then. Hmm. So yeah, well, I say next week we do a different bit since we don't have a top five list. Okay. We'll figure it out next week. Yeah. Yeah. We'll. Uh, how about we do? Uh, we'll post it. What? We'll just post it. Yeah. How about we just talk to Tate about um, uh, sour cream next week? Hmm. No? You just want to hear me go, ew, gross. Yeah, pretty much. Creme fraiche? Duck. No thanks. <laughs> Marscapone? <laughs> what? Marscapone? Uh, no. No? <laughs> Tony's just going to get a fucking list of <laughs> shit. That's going to be the whole show. He's just yeah. going to yeah, this, this. A bunch of random cheese. Yeah, like, uh, like oh, let me consult my cheese list. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure you have an app for it, don't you? <laughs> Maybe. Probably. Probably. Yeah. What an asshole. Yeah. What a dick. Yep. <laughs> All right. It's true. I believe that's, uh, yeah, that's what it is. So that's that then, huh? I believe so. All right. All right, then. Yeah. Any final words? Have a beer, you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Stay salty. <laughs> Until next week. <laughs>